This is Joey Atlas back with another episode. And guess what? I've got a really cool and awesome guest with me today. And this is really different. Uh, before I introduce Lauren, um, I'm going to let everybody know this is actually a hybrid episode. We're doing two podcast episodes in one. And this just came to me literally today as I was gearing up to do this because Nikki's been out with COVID and she's just recovering and we've got a really busy time at the studio. So we haven't been able to stay on a regular recording schedule. So this is going to be both an episode of my Fitness Whisperer podcast and the Wellness and Weight Loss for Women and Men podcast. So it's going to serve dual purposes. It's a hybrid. So with me today is somebody really cool, Nurse Lauren, Hi. Texas, right? We're in Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. All right. Yeah. So, Lauren, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank you for, for taking. Yeah, pleasure. This is going to be a great story that is going to not only just inspire a lot of women, but there's there are going to be men who get inspired by this uh, because of some of the things we touch on that have surprised you. Even as a nurse with a fitness yeah. history, some things have really surprised you in the last nine weeks. So that's what we're going to get into. We're also going to talk about cellulite, right? That, that okay. word that most Fun women have read and they want to get rid of. We're going to talk about your early cellulite success that's happening just in the first nine weeks alone. Uh, and we're going to talk about some other really, really important things that anybody who's trying to travel the health, fitness, wellness path for longevity and wellness and optimum living uh, there are principles that you're going to share that we'll just talk about in a natural conversation that are going to shed some light on the mindset part of, of all this, and the logistics of actually following a good, strong, healthy lifestyle. Some of the things you've learned uh, from day one were kind of like almost like these little epiphanies of discoveries that have allowed you to like make your life easier, but yet get better and better results than you have in the past, right? So, so before we go too deep, I want to get a little bit of your backstory from you. Tell us about Nurse Lauren and tell us about your personal like athletic fitness history that got you up into this stage of life. Okay. Um, well, I am actually 38 years old. Um, I've been an athlete my whole life. I'm six foot tall, so I play every sport that you can imagine. Yeah. Of course, basketball is the main one. Um, I did weightlifting my whole life, um, very active, very um, healthy eater, um, just always just from day one. Um, I entered my 30s um, and went back to college. Crazy me. Why would you do that? <laughs> Go to nursing school in your 30s. <laughs> but um, I decided that that was a calling that I had. Um, so I went to nursing school, which is... Um, I don't know if any of you know that, but it's very, very stressful. Yes. Uh, it is demanding in every way. Um, the schooling itself is, and then the career as well. Mm -hmm. um, but throughout my 30s, I started noticing like, the changes in my body. Um, I wasn't able to work out as much. When I would go work out, I would just like overtrain, I think, like try to lift like really heavy and mm -hmm. um, almost punish myself for missing the days in the gym right. when I was working or studying or whatever it was. Um, so, that's when I started noticing like the cellulite appearing on my legs. Um, it's, it's very disheartening as a woman, um, especially because you know, we value how we look. Um, and I think that um, I discovered you through Facebook, actually, I came across your um, a video of you working out. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> um, but what you were doing, it very, it interested me because it was the slow, controlled, isolated movement that I never did as an athlete or as a fitness trainer, or I, I even dated a personal trainer actually in the past. Right. Um, and his, you know, he always wanted me to lift like heavy, you know, all the time, like lift heavy, build all this muscle and right. I feel like it was like stressing my body out more. It was. It, it really was, um, especially coupled with my job being very stressful. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there was um, 
it was definitely meant to be that I came across you. Yeah. Um, once I really listened to what you had to say and, you know, with my, with my background in healthcare, um, everything made, made sense to me mm -hmm. basically, um, about your method and how you do things. Um, so for the last nine weeks, I have done your whitelist sculpting method. Which is for and, anybody listening who doesn't know, it's primarily just a name given to several of my more popular uh, video training sessions. One of them is ultimate leg, butt, hip, and thigh makeover for the lower body, um, which is not just for women. I mean, most of my lower body training sessions come from the ultimate leg, butt, hip, and thigh makeover exercises. Uh, and then we had the total body toning uh, levels one and level two for total body toning in that, in that white list package. So that's what you started with, right? That is what I started with. Um, once I joined your group on Facebook though, I realized that I really wanted to the total access because, um, everyone was talking about it. I was like, okay, what is this? I need <laughs> everything. Right. Um, because I'd already, even within the first four weeks, I already knew that it was something different. Mm. Um, I felt sore in places that I had never felt sore before, even like lifting heavily. And, and did that so, surprise you? Yes, it surprised <laughs> me. And I'm like, okay, so I'm not as conditioned as what I thought I was. You know, I'm not, I wasn't as in shape as what I thought. Um, now, for anybody listening, like explain to the person listening who might like, maybe they're just seeing us for the first time. Somebody shared this with them and they're thinking, wow, she used to like, you know, beat her body into submission, the heavy weights, progressive overload, you know, more, more, more. And now she does this Joey's Joey's realm and she's getting sore in places. She never was ever sore before, even with the hardcore stuff, they're thinking, well, what is it she was doing? Like what's different? So yeah. what was, what was different about starting my programs? Especially think, the lower body stuff. I think it's, I really think it's just the slow controlled movements um, and just really isolating the muscle, um, concentrating, doing that, you know, mind to muscle um, connection, mm. which is very important. Um, when, when you're in the gym, like lifting heavy, like you don't take the time to really activate the muscle and things like that. Like you're just trying to, you're trying to lift really heavy and get out of the gym. Right. Your workouts are, um, easy on the joints, which is good. Mm -hmm. It's like amazing. I was like, Oh, I don't know if this is going to be like a really good workout. No, I was sweating <laughs> very profusely the very first day that I did the mat workout on the floor. Right. I was like, Oh my gosh. Like I've discovered something wonderful. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, and I knew that it was going to give me results. Like I, it all made sense to me. Um, like I said, with my healthcare background and just knowing the body, the anatomy and physiology of the body, the muscles, um, and the fact that your workouts, you know, they take 30 minutes. Um, with someone that's busy, I work 12 hour shifts on my feet all day long. Right. The last thing you want to do when you come home from work, even if it's not a 12 hour shift, is work out. Um, and some Hardcore. people can't work out early in the morning. You know what I mean? Like some people can't get up early. Mm -hmm. um, and do that uh, so I've been able to work out after work like that's a huge accomplishment for me right you can do it at home and you know you're gonna be done in less than 40 minutes start yeah. to finish and I look forward to it because yes it's not, it's right not that's a huge you're, difference yes it's not like you're like oh my gosh I gotta lift all this weight and I gotta go kill myself now <laughs> have to do an hour of cardio afterwards like it's it's just a completely different way of working out than i've ever experienced awesome um, love it all right so this triggers a few really good questions <laughs> um so let's talk about some of the things that were starting to get worse in your lower body like you know we talk about the word cellulite describe like specifics of things that were getting worse that you were not happy about that you wanted to or you were trying to change i mean honestly the front and back of my thighs um were you, i were you seeing like dimples and shadows oh and it, it's it's i have yeah i had a lot of the ripples dimples i even one of my legs is is is, is weaker than the other one um 
and in the front I have this dent, like an actual dent in the front. And I'm mm-hmm. like, what, what is this? I yeah. mean, um, because I'd never had that before. Right. Uh, so yes, dimples, ripples, shadow, whatever you want to call it. Mushy, Mush- saggy. The, the, yes, the things that you don't want to see when you look in the mirror and you don't feel good about yourself when right. you want to wear some a skirt or shorts or, or or go to the beach or go to the beach yes <laughs> so yes. so so those were issues for you when, when this was all getting worse definitely right. self right. issues all the way right for sure. right understood that's common very common yes uh, okay so you discover me on facebook everything i'm saying to you in the free materials i'm sharing in those pieces are making sense to you because you understand the body, right? Yeah. You, you, you had to learn about the body. The mm-hmm. things I'm saying are actually resonating with you. Like this guy's making sense actually here, right? Yeah. So you took the next step. You started with one program. Mm-hmm. You came into the Facebook group, the private Facebook group, um, yeah. where you started connecting with me and some of the others who are already on various programs. Uh, and then you start hearing about total access and yes. you're like, I want into total access. And of course, now you know what total access is. It's everything. Like you get all the good stuff plus everything new we add. But I want to rewind because like literally I remember you may have been like the first day or the day after you did your first mat session. You were Mm -hmm. like, OMG, like, are you serious? Like, I, like, what? And I'm like, oh, I, and, and then you started telling me your story right there. Like, you know, nurse, almost 40, been doing this my whole life. Like, I, you know, did all the hardcore stuff. Everything you say makes sense. Now I tried it and I'm totally convinced and sold. Like I found what I'm looking for. Right. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, so uh, and then you jumped on total access because you knew you found something good that was really helpful to you and the stage of life you're, you're at and the goals you still have and the things you wanted to fix, right. That haven't been fixed at that stage. Um, and so I, I forget it. It was several weeks in like four and like six and eight and you're really busy. Like you've got the busy nurses schedule, you know, you're making out like four 12 hour shifts in a row then you get several days off. Yeah. And, you know, I see your, your posts whenever you come in there on, on the, the updates, the check-ins and stuff. And I'm like, man, she's sticking with this. Like, yeah. she's doing it, right? And you would post a lot of good stuff. Anybody who's listening to this right now, you can come into the group and you can go see your past posts or the, the future mm-hmm. ones that are coming. Um, and your enthusiasm and, like, your, your appreciation of what this has allowed you to do despite your crazy extreme schedule yes Uh, that's really powerful because if you can only work out you know if you can only get your training sessions in x days per week because the rest of your week is taken up by a a fully loaded schedule um you still want those days that you do to be able to do something for you right yeah so um you sharing that has been really powerful and just seeing your energy and and like how positive you're feeling that like you got something that's working for, for this stage of your life. Now it's going to, it's going to work forever. Really. That's what this is all about. It's all sustainable as you felt, you know, it's safe on the joints, gentle on the joints and something that most people don't know, it kind of goes over their head or I don't talk about it enough is that the style of slow controlled focused training Mm -hmm. actually works on the fascia works on connective tissue and actually trains the ligaments and the tendons and the nerve system that's that innervates all the muscles and all those things i just listed so it's more of a holistic training uh, of the body not just like hey we're going to bash the muscles into into submission and try to change the muscles and burn fat in the process it's more of a holistic systemic approach to all the functional structures of the body right and so this is part of what you're seeing improvements already. So I'm going to have you share now, nine weeks in, some of the specific general improvements, mental improvements, and the cellulite improvements. So you could start wherever you want and just take your time going down the list. Oh, which I might add that you said it's a, it's a holistic training. It, you know, it trains your fascia and things like that. Um, that's why I was so sore in areas that I didn't realize. Exactly. I was, I was like, okay, um, 
this is a new muscle that I don't think I've ever worked before. <laughs> so right. um, that's how I know that it's um, it's a it's going to be long term and it's a solution to the problem yes. that we all that all of us women like deal with. Yes. Um, but not, yes, nine weeks and I have taken some photos that I don't want to share, <laughs> but I will, I will share them at some point. Yeah. Um, I think that, and the reason for that is because, um, I've seen a lot of the women on our, our, um, group that, um, you know, share their photos like really quickly. Mm -hmm. And I think they're wanting like these instant results right. and I feel like, um, you know, it took you this long to get to this place. It's going to take patience, perseverance mm -hmm. to get to the spot where you're going to see the progress that you right. want to see. Um, so that's why I haven't shared any photos of myself yet. Good. Um, like I, um, but so far I'm seeing like my thighs are smoothing out. Mm -hmm. I can feel the firmness. Like um, I've lost three inches off of each thigh. I don't weigh myself because mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm six foot tall. Like I don't like the number I see. Right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so Understood. I, I just, I weigh more than a normal woman right. would anyway. I'm tall. Um, but I measure myself. So I've lost three inches off each of each thigh in nine wow. weeks. Um, and so when I look in the mirror, I just see like the smoothness starting. My left leg is my weak leg before that, that dent that I had, it's going away. Really? Um, yes. The big one is going away. Yes. The one that I was like, where, what is, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. It is, moving out finally wow. um, and the, awesome. the back, yes the back of my legs are the sa same way um i had a You're moderate, starting to see less less dimples less shadows yeah. less ripples yes all of it all mm -hmm. of it is like smoothing it feels firm i feel stronger um, i'm able to do um your workouts twice through all the reps now nice. at, um and I'm graduating to the level two, which is um, pretty good, I think. Yeah. Um, because I was actually doing weights with level one the last few weeks. Okay. Two times through. Right. Some dumbbells, light dumbbells. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm a strong girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can see. I can tell. But, I, you know, I had that background too. So right. Right. Yeah. You're the muscle you, memory. You, yeah, you've had a history and you're an athletic build too. So it's very different than like a 52 year old woman or a 62 year old woman coming into our world who's been totally sedentary or yeah. maybe they've just been on again, off again for the last 15 years. Um, mm -hmm. We still get a lot of those ladies. We get so many of those ladies and it's perfect because it's adjustable to their level. They can yeah. start by doing only what they can do and they progress forward. But you're a little bit more advanced, you're gearing up for level two soon, ultimate leg, butt, hip, and thigh. We're not even, we're not even talking about naked beauty here. Which, I know. <laughs> so, so here's the funny thing. You're, in nine weeks, you're seeing cellulite reduction, cellulite improvement, smoothing, firming, toning, tightening of the skin, where you've had those dimples, sh shadows, and ripples, and even that big dent you're talking about. Yeah. You're seeing all those improve in nine weeks. And you're not even using the cellulite specific program, which, <laughs> which is naked beauty, right? So and I have you, access to it. <laughs> yes, but here's the cool thing. Like ultimate leg, butt, hip, and thigh, it, it, it also is a very effective cellulite reversal uh, approach to exercise for the trouble zones and problem areas for women. And that's where this all started. And then the naked beauty came because some of them were asking me, Hey, can, can you shorten the ultimate leg, butt, hip, and thigh to like a really condensed, shorter program? Mm -hmm. um, because I don't have any weight to lose. My weight is good. Can you shorten it, tighten it up, and make it a cellulite-specific program for a woman who doesn't have to lose any weight? So when I got enough of those requests, it's like back in 2008, I created Naked Beauty specifically mm -hmm. for those types of women. And now like all types buy it because – when they see the success stories that are online and on some of the forums and stuff, and they hear some of the past success stories, the interviews, and see some of the photos, they just, they just want to have it. Even if they think they're going to get cellulite, they want to have this ready to go. So for you, you you're, that's going to be a progression for you because it's still going to provide a challenge for you when you start bringing that in. And 
it's going to mean even more cellulite reversal for you. Yes. Even further than where you've gotten already. Now, I don't, I don't, you know, you, you're nine weeks in, you're seeing and feeling incredible improvements. I don't want to mislead anybody to have anybody listening think, oh, I'll get rid of my cellulite in nine weeks. No. No. Like, some women have things happen like in two to three weeks, they see some awesome things happen. Some women hardly see anything changing for the first two months, but there are women who keep going and they keep going. And then five months later, six months later, seven months later, some amazing things happen with all those body structures that I listed for you that you know about muscles, yeah. nerves, fascia, connective tissue, ligaments, tendons. They take time to change for most average women. That's just, that's the body. That's anatomy and physiology. You're not yeah. going to force your structures to change overnight. So speaking of this, I actually just got a success story uh, written interview uh, from one of my sw small group coaching clients. Mm -hmm. She was not expecting this, but she has like, I think she said it's an 80% reduction in cellulite. Mm -hmm. And I have, to, I have to clean up the, the interview and, and bring it over into, I'm going to create an interview page, her photo, and I'm also going to record it as a podcast. But it took her six months for her to finally realize, oh, my Lord, the cottage cheese and orange peel is gone. Yeah. And she's like, she said, you know how you want, anybody want to know how it's gone? I'm going out in a bathing suit this next party we're going to. And she did. She went out, wore a bathing suit for the first time in years. That's awesome. And uh, so I say that because I don't want people to expect, oh, in nine weeks it'll be gone. No, this is, it's a continuum. Like, however long it takes, it'll take because you got the rest of your life ahead of you to still live. So even if it's six or seven months, in, a, in the scheme of a lifetime, that's pretty good. It is. Very. And very much worth it. Absolutely. So you're, and again, it's not just about the superficial aesthetics. It's about the function of the body, maintaining bone density, you know, uh, preventing osteoporosis, keeping your balance, keeping your functionality, keeping keeping your independence as we age, you know, cause you know, you're late thirties, you're going to be in the forties soon and beyond. We have to think about don't, longevity. Don't remind, me of that. <laughs> don't remind me of that. It's all good. You're doing the right thing. So it's not going to matter. Yeah, I know. Right? You're aging in reverse. Now you're going backwards yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I love telling people I'm 50. I love, this is marketing to me. I leave this on because if I shave this, I look like a little kid. I know your your videos and the whitelist the whitelist sculpting method. Yeah, you look very very young. I'm like, this must have been filmed a long time ago. Yeah, it, <laughs> that was that was about 13 years ago, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, give or take. So yeah, but uh, I'm in better shape now. I'm healthier. Uh, and my, my my vitals are all better than back then, uh, because I'm still doing all this style of training. I just started around back then, like around that time frame, and uh, I'm more, way more plant-based for nutrition now than I was back then. Way, way more. That's something we could talk about. Maybe on part two, you and I will talk about plant-based yes. nutrition. Okay, we'll see. Yes, because you're going to be back. We're going to talk about all the other improvements from today forward. So we'll revisit that stuff then and see how much further the cellulite has improved and all the other things. But I don't want to skip a few important things over here. Uh, you, you're, you're a very, very busy uh, and overworked nurse right now. Like in the moment, as we speak, COVID is like, it's round two, basically, right? It is round two. Yes. Right. It's very, so, very bad. <laughs> so you're living a very stressful life right now really busy uh, at work, you know, you're all stressed because you're right in the thick of things, right? I'm an ICU nurse. So right. Yes. Yes. So, but you're still making your health, wellness, and longevity a priority. Right? Yes. Yes. And most people, let alone okay. most nurses, are not. Oh, gosh. Right? So, and I see it, like, when I, whenever I go, if, I mean, I've gone occasionally for an operation or get something fixed or whatever, uh, I actually appreciate nurses who take care of themselves that are going to mm -hmm. be taking care of me. 
Yeah. Like, it's just a, you know, like I don't, it's not that I look down upon or um, dislike nurses who, you know, are like the average person. They just eat whatever they want. They're overweight and they make fun about themselves and they just they think it's a joke. And, you know, um, and for me, to me, if you're a nurse, if you're a healthcare practitioner and you're supposed to be promoting health and wellness and prevention, um, I would at least like the nurses who are taking care of me to be of the same mindset, like that just understand, you know, you're given this body to go through life once. Like mm -hmm. it's up to you to honor that gift that you've been given and take care of it for this journey that we're on. Right? So yeah. from your, from your perspective, what sets you apart in terms of how you think and where you place your values uh, as opposed to like, you know, I don't know, 95% of the nurses who don't take care of themselves. Right. Is it maybe it's five or 10% of you who do. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't even, I don't even know the percentage because the nurses I work with, um, and really I've been an, only been a nurse for four years, mm -hmm. but I, it's, it's, it's everywhere. They're, they're all overweight. They don't care about what they eat. Mm -hmm. Um, they drink copious amounts of caffeine mm -hmm. to get through the shift, um, which is terrible for your adrenal glands. It's terrible for your body, uh, your kidneys, um, dehydrates you. Mm -hmm. um they don't drink water some of them even smoke cigarettes um, yeah. we'll figure just, that one out just, i mean it blows my mind because most hospitals are smoke-free campuses but they find a way to go out and smoke um you know for me my mindset has always been i want to be an example to my patients um if i have to educate them about their diabetes or they need to lose weight or their high blood pressure um, you know, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm not only like talking the talk, right. I'm talking the walk right. as well in my own life. So, um, health is very important to me. It always has been. And as a nurse, um, I'm in a position and a platform to, uh, be an example for people, mm -hmm. um, which is to me, I think is, is pretty amazing. It is. It, it, it is. Um, again, it's like you want your healthcare practitioners to be healthy and to yeah. <laughs> be able to, you want them to be doing what they're telling you to do, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting paradigm there. Uh, so do you, are, are you able to share where you're a nurse at right now and what type of ICU you do or? Um, I, so I work for Dallas Presby, which is a huge, um, hospital in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Um, but currently I'm actually getting ready to do a travel assignment for crisis, um, crisis COVID assignment. Right. Um, so with their capacity in San Antonio and Houston area for ICU beds is, um, it's completely full mm -hmm. and they're in need of ICU nurses. Um, so I decided to accept a four week assignment to go and help. Um, it's at my first uh, instinct was like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm already stressed out here, but I have a servant's heart. Um, so I really want to go and be able to help out. And right. it's only a month, um, but right. I, when I go and travel, this is what is exciting to me because I actually did travel nursing last year as well. Um, but this time it'll be different because I'll be able to work out after work because there. of you. Yeah. Cause you don't, you in don't need the gym. Room. Yes. In my you hotel room. Could, you could do this anywhere. Yeah. A lot of people do this in the hotels. We got to make yeah. sure you get your bands before then. You got to get yes. your bands before then. Yes. Right. So yes. we'll make sure we get you the link. Um, so that's awesome. So is, is the, is the overloaded ICU, um, is it all because, of COVID mostly? Yeah, it's all because of COVID. Mm -hmm. All right, so anybody um, listening right now, and, and, you know, whether it's real time publishing the week of or after the fact, like right now, June 30th, 2020, mm -hmm. you know, some people are saying this is the second wave of COVID-19 now, right? And you get you, like you're in the mix. You're like right in the heat of things. Mm -hmm. um, you're going on a four week assignment to a high volume, uh, COVID ICU, right? Yes. yes. 
and she's going right into right into the zone. So we Good thank job. you for that. We thank you for the sacrifice. Uh, much much love and strength to you as you you venture forward into that, and you're going to come out. You're going to come out okay, because yeah. more people like you are needed. So um, we know you'll still be around after that assignment. And uh, you mentioned you have your eyes on the horizon for de-stressing uh, a bit in in a, in a possible career shift. So that's smart smart move to make now because we you you probably as well see some of these nurses in their fifties, maybe sixties, who are like literally toast. They're done. Yes. Right? But they're still they're still on their feet somehow. I don't know how they make it because after a, it's usually like you know, they say 12 hour shift, but it's, it's usually like 13 and a half right. by the time I'm done. Yeah. Um, and you're like, I tried to track my, cause I have an um, Apple watch, tried to track my uh, mileage. It died. It wouldn't even track it anymore. <laughs> I was like, okay. Wow. So I don't know how the, the nurses, you know, that don't take care of themselves yeah. are able to walk for like that long. I right. really don't. This is crazy. <clears throat> Cause when I'm, when I get home, like my back hurt, my feet hurt, you know, my, um, it's, you know, but get through it somehow. Um, yeah. yeah. And it's much easier when you take care of yourself the right way. It is. Yeah. It is. Well done. All right. So before we, before we start to wrap up, um, since we're going to be doing a part two, I'll ask you from here, like from this point forward, what goals do you have that you would like to reach? Bef like either before we do part two or around when we're doing part two at some point? Um, my goals, like I, I'm going to start the naked beauty routine. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> um, I, everyone talks about like that. Our group always talks about it. Um, I know there's some similar moves as far as with the whitelist uh, sculpting method as well. I think there's some similar um, ex exercises, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to do Naked Beauty. I'm going to get some bands, the bands that you use. Good. Um, and basically just keep going right. and not stop. Um, it's a lifestyle. So what, what changes would you like to see happen over the next few months? Um, the continued smoothness of my thighs. So de further decreasing of the cellulite and smoothing and toning. Yes. Yes. And I want to be able to wear a skirt again sometime soon right. by the end of summer. You, you think you'll, you think you'll be there by the end of the summer? I think you'll be there before the end of the summer. Do you? I, I think so. Yes. Right. And it, it, in Texas, summer doesn't end until like September. So right. <laughs> I definitely feel. Um, you're, you're on track to be able to do it. Yes, for sure. Awesome. For sure. Awesome. Um, let me see what else we have here. All right. So is there, let's say somebody's listening and she's like really intrigued and she's unsure, uh, you know, and you're going to speak to that woman or a guy right now. Let's, let's say woman. What would you share with her right now? If she's like thinking about coming into our world. Maybe this is the program for her. Finally, after all the bumps and bruises and the, the fad diets and the, you know, the crazy workout schemes. What would you say to that lady? I would, I would say to um, do your research, first of all, uh, on you as a trainer. Um, Exercise your physiologist. Your background is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You have, a, you have a master's for, I mean, you can't get any better than that. You know what you're talking about. Um, and then be open-minded to the exercises that you do. Um, when I first saw the first video of you, I was like, that looks way too easy. I'm like, that is not going to do anything. But then once I started really looking at it and, you know, being more open-minded, um, and then after that first workout, I was like, well, okay. Um, <laughs> I think he knows what he's doing. I am sweating and every muscle hurts. In a good um, way. In a good way. In a good way, I love that feeling. Right, and you didn't touch any weights. There were no no no, no stack no. machines and cables like at the big gym. None of that stuff. It was it was like all body weight. It was on the floor too. Right. That's <laughs> so, um, I would say be open minded and um, just be willing to try something new. 
and um, join the Facebook group as well because I think that's um, that forum is amazing. Um, the motivation and the encouragement to, you know, keep going, the accountability as well, um, I think is, is awesome. So I think those are the things. And if you want to see true results and reverse the dimples and the ripples, the dents, the whatever you want to call them, the horrible things that we hate to see on our legs as women, then definitely try your method. Thank you. Thank you. And what, what, what do you think about, how do you, how do you, how much do you love total access? What do you love about total access? Um, I, everything. Um, <laughs> but I like the fact that there's recipes there as well. Um, and just, it gives a variety of workouts. So you're not going to be uh, getting bored. Like if you, cause I know that for me, if I keep doing the same workout over and over again, I will get a little bit bored with it. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a more of, it's a mixture, full body workout. You can do shoulders and triceps and, you know, chest workout and lower body. Yes. There's so many options. we got the flexibility stuff, the stretching, the range of motion. We have stuff for the neck, the back. Yeah. All the things us middle agers and beyond complain about that we need to fix, but we don't know how. This, yeah. It's, it's everything. And we're adding stuff every month, you see, right? New recipes, yeah. new cooking videos in the kitchen. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's, there's always going to be more. We've got an endless supply of new stuff to create and put in there. So thank you for being a part of Total Access. Yes. Thank you for the energy and the positivity and support you bring into the, the, the private Facebook group. It's, despite your busy schedule, um, your, your input there is always much appreciated and a great example, by the way, mm -hmm. that carries some weight with your credibility. So that does a lot for the people in there. So we appreciate it. And uh, I, think, I think we're just about done until, until we get to part two and maybe a few more months when you've when, when you're able to wear the skirt before the end of the summer, <laughs> we're going to do part two. And I will, yes, I'm going to take some progress photos. Like I did nine week and then I'm going to do probably a 12 week one. Um, and then maybe even like 16 week. And then I might have the courage to post them. Awesome. I'm, I know I will actually. It'll I think be, you will too. I'm it'll be amazing. Sure. Yes. Awesome. Love it. Well, thank My you. So said relentless. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite words. So That's we're good. like, do not give up basically. Right. right. Now you don't have to give up because you found the easy way. Exactly. Exactly. You can be re as <laughs> relentless as you want to be because it's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done. All right. So before I wrap up, uh, anybody listening or watching, uh, you want to connect with us? You want to see where all, where's all this stuff that they're talking about? You know, how can we find out more? You can go several ways. You can go to fitnesstraining.live. That's fitnesstraining.live. And you can sign up for some freebies there. You can go to, uh, you can look for official sculpt fit fitness page on Facebook. The official sculpt fit fitness Facebook page on Facebook, our fitness community. You can come connect with us there. Even if you're not using any of the programs, you can still come connect, meet Lauren, meet the other, all the other ladies in there, a couple of guys here and there who are like smart about their fitness. They don't want to go beast mode and kill it, bro. They want to do my style of gentle training. Uh, you come connect with everybody, get a feel for what's going on, ask them about the programs, the results, their progress. Um, or if you're local, when I say local, here in St. John's, Jacksonville, Florida, and you want to come check out the studio, we've got personal training programs, we have long distance remote training programs. We coach people around the world, actually. So we're not limited to local, but if you are local, you can just come find us on Facebook. That's Sculptafit, S-C-U-L-P-T-A-F-I-T, Sculptafit.com. Find us on Facebook, Sculptafit. Uh, if you're watching on video, you can see it's on Lauren's Christmas wish list. The Sculptafit home gym system in the background. Uh, partially, un I have half the attachments on there right now. I was in between, in between uh, sessions, changing it up for later today. I'm going to do lower body on it. Uh, so we got the home gym systems. We got everything you could possibly want, starting with freebies, all the way up to home gym systems and custom private coaching programs that we can help you with. All you got to do is come find us. 
on Facebook or our websites. And if you want to find me directly for some reason, come find me on Facebook, Joey Atlas Fitness, Joey Atlas Fitness, or you can come to one of my main websites, which is thejoeyatlas.com. If you're interested in possibly having myself privately coach you and get you going in the right direction or one of my other team coaches coach you, they're awesome too. We have a system for doing this that works like gangbusters to turn your life around when you've struggled for so long. We know what to do and we know how to do it. We know how to do it gently so that you can sustain, sustain it for life. And that's yeah. the whole point. So you know where to get us now. Uh, Lauren? Thank you. Thank you very much. We've been trying to do this for several weeks, but you know, I know. busy, you're overworked, you needed rest, you had some things come up that required some private time. So on that note, I really do appreciate you making the time today to, to do this. Uh, what you shared is, is going to impact a lot of listeners, not just for the first time, but anybody who comes across this in a few months or a few years, what you shared is what people are going to need to hear because they haven't discovered it yet. So Thank you for all the details you shared. Yes. Uh, and thank, thank you for, for having me. <laughs> yeah, pleasure. We're going to do it again. Part two is going to come up. So I am going to, I'm going to hit um, our stop recording button. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>